Here are the ingredients for my diner burgers. Now, you can have six ounces for eight smart points. The way that I do it is I usually take the six ounces and I like to break that up into two ounce sliders. Did that make sense? So you're going to make three little sliders. And then I get a low point bun. So we have salt and pepper, a little bit of basil. I usually throw in about a teaspoon, a lot of garlic. I do a tablespoon of that, two pieces of wet, low calorie bread. This is the Healthy Life white bread. You can really use any kind you want. Definitely wet the bread though. And by that, I mean, run it under water in the sink and wring it out. And then you're just going to break it up in your meat. So that will bind it together. And then use any no sugar added ketchup or whatever you like. Then I also put about two tablespoons of mustard and two tablespoons of Thousand Island Light dressing. This is 93% lean beef that we're using. And you can kind of see all the ingredients in there. And I'm going to get this mixed up. Now, listen, do not over mix your meat. If you do, you have you ever had a hamburger where it just kind of tastes dry? What will happen is if you over mix your meat mixture, your meat will seize up when you cook it. So try not to do that. Just get everything combined and you're done. Okay, so I have the hamburger combined that just took a minute or so. And so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and tear out my scale. There's zero. And we're going to see where we're at here. Okay, that is 2.8 ounces. So we'll take a little off there. There we go. Two ounces. I like to be exact. So that's what we're going to do. And then all I'll do is just kind of make a little patty. Don't overwork them. I sprayed a little olive oil on the tin foil. I'm going to put them down and we'll just go ahead and get those going. And then we'll set those aside and let them get kind of close to room temperature before we cook them. Right before we fold these up and set these aside, let me show you our diner burger secret. Ready? Here it is. You know how some places they talk about their butter burgers? Well, that is kind of the same effect that we are creating here. And why does this work? Well, to me it works because we're making these pretty flat. So they will tend to not, what I call, seize up like a little ball. So they'll stay tender and they'll give you the sense, this is salt, by the way, I always salt it when I'm finished here. They'll give you the sense of you know how a good diner burger is a little bit like a greasy spoon burger where it's just, you taste all that fat and it just gives you the same kind of delicious burger taste when you do it this way. So now we're going to get these pushed together and I'm just going to sit them aside, like I said, let them go to room temperature before we put them on the pan. The first thing you're going to do is get your shish kebab sticks out and you're going to soak them in water. I already have water in there. You're going to soak them in water for, I usually go about 30 minutes. Now, the reason that you do that is that so when you cook this stuff, these little sticks don't 
catch on fire or burn up, which I've had them do before. The other thing you could do is if you have the metal ones, you should be fine. So, you know, whatever works for you. Okay, so here's what we need. I have the oven preheating at 350, and this is ham. Now, normally, because we're going to be doing some of these strips with Canadian bacon and pineapple pizza style, but I am not a huge fan of Canadian bacon, so I'm going to use ham, but you could definitely use Canadian bacon if you want to. We also have some garlic powder little bit of basil, and some olive oil cooking spray. And then this is one can of Pillsbury Thin Pizza Crust. All I did was I unrolled it and I cut it into one inch strips. And what I'm gonna do next is spray it with the olive oil and also put the basil and the garlic on it and a little bit of pepper. I'm not gonna put any salt on it because we have salt in the ham, so we won't need that. And here are our pineapple chunks that we're gonna use. So we're gonna get that started. Okay, so I did one, and this is what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna just lay this over here on our tin foil. I don't know if you guys can see this over here. Look at that. I spilled my basil. We'll just pretend that's not over there. So anyway, here's what we do. You're just going to take your skewer, fold your ham in half like this so you have a nice thick chunk. And then you're going to put a chunk of your pineapple. Another piece of ham. Pineapple, and then we'll do one more chunk of ham. And then you're just going to take your pizza, the colder the pizza dough is, the better. See how sticky this is, you guys? Ugh. This one is sticky. Okay, so the way I did it, because it does get sticky, is you're just going to wrap it around. I hope you guys can see that because I'm trying to focus on not throwing it all over the place. She's just going to wrap it around just like that. And no, it is not perfect, but that is totally okay because when we cook it, that pizza crust, is going to wrap around the pineapple and the ham and it it'll be totally fine it won't it will not matter so i'm going to keep going and then i'm going to move on to pepperoni okay we wound up with 16 of these i have one in the oven already but you can see i also did turkey pepperoni and I still put the pineapple in there just because I love it. You don't have to. You know, you can do whatever you want. But I'm going to get these in the oven as well, and I will show you guys the end result. All right. I just gave one to Kevin. He's trying it here for the first time. He's got the pineapple and ham. What do you think? Good. Good? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's good. Those are three sticks for one point. Can you believe that? I'm going to have six. Well, you could. They're good, right? It's very good. Thumbs up. All right, good. Kevin just came up with a good idea. Look at this. He slid it right off the stick. So it's like a pizza bread stick. Delish? Good. Good. Okay, I've got my hamburgers going. So you want to get your pan preheated really hot. I went ahead and sprayed the pan with some olive oil, which I really should not do. 
because it ruins the pan, but I did it anyway. Oh, well. Anyway, get the pan screaming hot, and then we're going to do a few minutes on each side. I'm making Kevin's plate right now, and I think I've mentioned to you guys, he gets 41 points. So he's going to have three of these sliders on regular um, buns. So his plate is going to be with the Thousand Island Light dressing. You can see I've got some on there for him, some pickles and onions. His total plate is going to be nine points. But he has plenty of points, and this will be perfect for him. So the burgers are just about done, and we'll get them set on here. There we go. Does that look delicious or what? Now, I myself will have one of these and see how I feel. I have enough points to have two, but I do a lower point bun than Kevin does but it's just as delicious to me.